All right, here we are, guys, back for a guide. Here you can see we got a massive headwind here. <clears throat> so this is actually my first look at this one. I'm assuming it's going to be a driver. You can probably get away with a uh, sniper shot, but I'm not sure that with a head... Well, okay, so it's usually going to be a sniper shot, but in an extreme headwind case, I would probably go with a driver if I was you. Now, granted, here you can see my opponent. Perfect ball on a full power shot. He was able to, uh, you know, hit it up there by the green somewhere. If he didn't curl it that much, probably would have been okay. Um, but what I would probably suggest in this situation, and here you can see I'm close to min club. Let's just see how I can get this to line up. So if you have, you know, a Thor's hammer, six for instance this can be highly favorable you can see it's going to come in just a tad bit deep not too much we're going to play kind of off the mid distance number Maybe. out so far so good and you can see that i'm able to get it up there um, at about six rings, what is that? 1.7 per ring. It's pretty much my max distance number spot on, and I'm able to get it up there um, reasonably well. So I do highly recommend, you know, if you have the possibility of using a Thor's hammer, uh, it's still going to be a very effective club for this tour. So hopefully you guys are seeing similar results. If you have these clubs, definitely use those over a pocket. The only thing that you should even be considering a pot wise would be a pot six or higher. It's not even worth you know, kind of bringing into the equation. You can always in a headwind situation from the 13 pull out that extra driver. So that's what I'm going to recommend for you guys. So good luck and see you guys on the next one.